Okay, so this is our electrical setup now for the generator. We used to just have this big box on the left here. It has the meter on the left, and then of course it has a main panel, which has two kind of main uh, 200 amp branch services off of it. And they installed this load center on the left, and then two contactor switches. Those are the transfer switches uh, for the two separate services. So on the left here, I'll get a little closer. We have a 200 amp service that goes when actually into a, little, a bunch of breakers right here that fed a bunch of different things like our well and furnace and a few other things, the garage separately. And those they had to, instead of just, I don't know why they couldn't just tie in right here and put a transfer switch in above this, this bus, they actually had to take a, make a separate load center over here and uh, essentially splice a bunch of cable connections uh, over, over here into this load center. So and then that goes into, you know, one of these uh, transfer switches. And this other one here is our main service for the house uh, sub panel. And that again goes over here into this transfer switch here. So uh, basically we have the, um, that's our setup. We have this bus here sort of, um, you know, being replicated over here in this load center. And then the other other 200 amp service just directly connecting to this load center. So each of these is handling 200 amps, uh, hence the size of the, the contactor here. You can see this is all exposed and hot. Contactor here, contactor here, and then this is our house, this is our city um, power up here coming in, and down here is the generator power. If we were to switch it down to the bottom with these, these handles right here, that would switch the contactor down to the bottom and we'd get power from the generator if it was turned on. And the way that connects the generator is out the bottom here, there is <clears throat> this, uh, these big uh, tubes here. Uh, these are fr coming from the panel, and then these go out to the generator. These are just a 30-foot, essentially, extension cords um, that can handle 50 amps. And I'll, I'll follow these over and show you where they are in the generator. So there's a couple garden hoses too, but these are the, this is the cord right here. And then here's where it connects into the generator. So the generator's right here. And there are some massive plugs right here. And you can see at the bottom here, 50 amps each. So we get 50 amps each if, uh, this works for us because we have a kind of a split service. If you have a single 200 amp service, I don't think you can run both of these into that 200 amp service. Maybe you could. Like meaning, I don't think you could combine these. Maybe you can. I don't know enough about that. Uh, that's illegal. Electricians seem to indicate that we couldn't, but who knows. Uh, but it doesn't matter for us. We have 50 amps going into each service, so when we're running on this thing, we uh, throttle everything down so that we only have 50 amps running, you know, to the, the house, and then 50 amps going out to the garage, and mostly just prioritizing the well pump. So anyway, that is the quick setup here. Generator's covered up here to keep it, keep it dry. And then there's our, our, uh, cables in the generator running down over here to the load center and I mean to the transfer switches load center and then to the main panel over here so any questions let me know definitely happy to go into more detail if needed and here's another close-up view of the main panel so anybody who's curious can see this thanks all right here's startup procedure here's our Jenny all hooked up I'll show the wiring in a bit here so Gotta have the fuel to on, the one, not the zero. Pull out the choke, and just hold the key over like you're starting a car. 